Welcome or welcome back to another Youth Tutors lesson. In today's video, we'll be going over money. How can you recognize them and what are their values? There are four types of coins that you need to be able to identify in order to understand money. The first one is penny with the lowest value of one cent. The color is brown slash copper. The next one is nickel with the value of five cents and the color is silver. The third has a value of 10 cents which is the smallest coin. And lastly, the quarter has the biggest value with 25 cents, which is also the largest coin as well. Now that we went over each coin, try to identify the value of the money shown. If you got the following answers, then good job. And if you need more help, you could go back to the video to see all the coins that we went over, which helped us identify the correct answer. Now try to identify which set of coins has the biggest value. If you got the first set of coins, good job. We did this by adding all the value of the coins together and seeing which one has the biggest sum. Which coin is the biggest in size, not in value? If you got dime, then good job. Now let's try to add and mix coins together. If you have three pennies, what is your final value? If you got three cents, then you're correct. Now, if you have two nickels, what's your final value? Well, since one nickel is five cents and you have two nickels, then you'd get 10 cents. And finally, if you have two quarters, what is your final value? If you got 50, you're correct because one quarter is 25 cents. And if you add two quarters together, then you get 50. If you have one dime and one penny, what's your final value? If you got 11 cents, you're correct because one dime is 10 cents and one penny is one cent. If you have one nickel and two pennies, what's your final value? If you got seven cents, then you're correct because one nickel is five cents and two pennies is two cents. And finally, if you have one quarter and one dime, what's your final value? If you got 35 cents, you're correct because one quarter is 25 cents and one dime is 10 cents. If you have 25 cents and you spent 10 cents, what's left? If you got 15 cents, you're correct because 25 cents minus 10 cents equals 15. You want a toy that costs 30 cents. And if you have two quarters, then what would be the change? Well, two quarters is 50 cents. So if we subtract 50 by 30 cents, you get 20 cents in change. So what's the big takeaway? We know that a penny equals one cent, a nickel equals five cents, a dime equals 10 cents, and finally, a quarter equals 25 cents. Thank you all for watching the video, and I hope you've learned something new.